Uh, Babcock identified Terra Dynamics as a leading provider of autonomous UAS platforms. We initiated a memorandum of understanding to collaborate in the Australasian region. And through that partnership, we have built a relationship with the Royal Australian Navy and has led us to deliver a capability demonstration at Beecroft Range, Nara. Terra Dynamics is a small aircraft OEM and we are the uh, design authority and developers of the Transwing. Terra Dynamics is a United States based company. Uh, we have a team that designs, builds and tests a range of innovative aircraft utilising Transwing technology. So we're here in uh, Nara, New South Wales with our XB4 platform. And this aircraft is a prototype that was developed in response to a need by the United States Navy uh, for ship to ship, ship to shore logistics and it is a 90 pound aircraft fully loaded carries a 15 pound payload all electric and the aircraft was really designed to demonstrate the viability of our technology and why it's sort of differentiating in the marketplace having babcock's assistance with that and their expertise here locally in australia has been uh, instrumental we're really excited to work with babcock to see what else we can uncover what other markets we can go over with our technology I've been employed as a helicopter pilot in Babcock for probably the last 15 years and I recently transitioned across to the safety department. Part of that in the last year or so I uh, moved into the, to the RPAS part of, of Babcock Australasia. At the beginning of February I went across to the United States to Colorado Springs. I uh, did two weeks of training there um, and the idea of that was to get to a train the trainer level where I'll be able to conduct some of the training on their systems to people locally to be able to use the systems. My role today with operating with Terra Dynamics was basically in a support role, um, but as, as a crew chief, so with these aircraft, mostly the way that they operate is an, an AVO, air vehicle operator and a crew chief. Uh, generally your crew chief will be, AVO will be operating the control system, the computer that's doing the controls and be in charge of the flight. I was, as a crew chief, helping them with the setup of the aircraft, but I would have been able to swap into the AVO roles if needed. Um, they have trained me to that level. Today we demonstrated two XP4 uh, aircraft for the Royal Australian Navy. Uh, I was part of the flight team, uh, getting the aircraft ready to fly and also flying the aircraft. Flights went well, we did five or six flights, demonstrated top airspeed, demonstrated climbs, uh, multiple aircraft at the same time flying, and like a, a logistics mission. So I operate the aircraft as well as you know, being an engineer, I help design some of the components, I work on the aircraft uh, here to kind of just make sure things go smoothly for the demonstration. This aircraft, the XP4, it's like actually a tech demonstrator. Teradynamics is currently working on a larger aircraft. It's about three times the size of this aircraft in terms of weight. Uh, the footprint is actually not three times the size of this aircraft, it's just a little bit bigger, but it will be able to carry a lot more payload and also have a, you know, basically the ability to stay in the air longer and go further, uh, which would meet a lot more needs for uh, ship to ship or ship to shore logistics missions, as well as uh, information surveillance and reconnaissance type missions as well.